Hi. I don't have a clever intro or funny joke to start the video with. Just look at this video I saw on the trending page. Swapping girlfriends with Faze Jarvis' brother. I mean, that's the most unappealing video title I've ever seen. Like, no part of me wants to watch that video. But we're gonna. And the reason we're looking at this video is because it already has 3.5 million views. So today, you and I are gonna sit down and watch this video and try to analyze it. Because, let's be honest with each other, this is fake. But staged or not, real people, likely a team of editors, worked really hard to make this content. A lot of people had to work on this video in order to produce it and publish it and tailor it to a curated audience. Like, it looks lazy based on the title, but a lot of work had to go into this. I want to see what is going on with these people making these videos that look so dumb and so stupid, but you know there has to be, like, hours of work put into it. it that's really fascinating to me, and that's what I want to look at. And apparently 3.5 million people liked this title enough to click it. That is so many people. Someone you know could have seen that video. Could have been your sibling, your best friend. Could have been your dad, for all we know. I mean, I, I don't know your dad. Maybe he likes this stuff. My point is, lots of people are being exposed to this content. Including me now. So, let's get into it. Alexa, yeah. Let's switch boyfriends for the day. I'm kind of down. Yeah, let's do it. <gasps> it's only been playing for seven seconds, and already there's way too much information to process. But I want to start my review by saying something nice. That transition where the two girls crossed each other and then cut to the next scene, smooth as hell. But that just proves my point, right? Like, real people with, like, proficient editing backgrounds had to put a lot of time and energy into making a video called Swapping Girlfriends with My Brother. Like, is that not disturbing but also fascinating? But let's talk shop. If there was any shred of a doubt that this wasn't staged, you can get rid of that now because these two girls walk up to each other in a backyard with a camera already, like, pointing in the space between them, and they're both like, hey, do you want to swap boyfriends? And the other one's like, yeah. And then they just do it. So I, I don't think we need to suspend any disbelief here. And then it cuts to this guy who is pretending to be asleep, and he wakes up with a sound effect. All of that information happened in seven seconds. I'm scared to see what the next 10 minutes are going to have for us. Me and Alexa are switching boyfriends for the day. What? Yeah, so I'm with you. What? What? That's good acting. It's likely that this guy was in on the concept of this video, so now he has to pretend like it's the girl's idea. So she pitches him the idea that it's likely he came up with, and he's just like, what? Wait, if you're in bed with me, then that means Alexa's in bed with... Stop it! Yeah, Alexa and I wanted to know who the better boyfriend was, so it's a test day. And at the end of the day, we're going to be rating you guys. What? What does that mean? I feel like this video is giving me a sugar rush. There's way too many bright colors and sound effects, and the font is weird, and the colors of, like, the subtitles and everything. I feel like I'm watching a bag of Sour Patch Kids, if that makes any sense at all. Now, you might think I'm already being kind of harsh on this thing, but... I think it's fair for me to dislike it, and I'm not alone. There are 10,000 dislikes on this video. Even though the ratio is still in favor, you usually don't get that many dislikes on a video. Like, that, that's a substantial amount. I want my channel to be an analysis of the different types of content on YouTube, and that includes these over-edited challenge videos. Because they're formulaic, and they're cheesy, they're poorly acted, and they go on too long. But they've been around for forever, and they don't show any sign of going away, because people watch it. 3.5 million, if I haven't said that enough. I want to know why. I don't think this video is going to tell me why, but I'm in too deep. 
What's all this? Well, for our first challenge, we're going to be painting each other. Challenge mm -hmm. painting? Yes. What? I'm going to be rating you after every single challenge. If you do well, you're going to be my boyfriend forever. I just Star woke up finger. next to you. I don't want this. So if Mustache Man doesn't paint the pink hair girl, he won't be able to go out with her instead of his real girlfriend? I know this is fake, okay? You don't have to leave a comment telling me, Duncan, lighten up, this is fake. I know. But they wrote a script for this video. Like, they want us to engage with this on some level. And in order to do that, there has to be some believability. And there, I just don't see any of that. Even if I was, like, seven and watching this, I would not understand what would go into the decision making to be like yeah if you paint me i'll date you like am i overestimating seven-year-olds or i i don't know yeah bro fraser what alexa scores me high but hannah scores you low like, what, well what, then what? you're gonna get the both of us jarvis the things, do the max right, bro I'm really, I'm really <laughs> he's just like yeah i usually date two people at one time even if it's just a joke, like, what do you gain from making that kind of joke? That's a very personal opinion. I just, I don't like cocky people. Give you a pink face because you like pink. <gasps> oh nice. my god! I love it, Fraser. It's really good, right? Wait, his name is Fraser, and the other one's name is Jarvis. But this is uploaded by a channel called Phase K. So who is K? It's not the girls. Their names are Alexa and Pink Hair. Like, they're not named K. I'm assuming K is this guy, the guy we've been following, but I, I don't know. Maybe I should have done more research before I started watching this video, but I kind of just jumped right into it. So if we find out, we'll find out together. This is mine of you. This is your aura. This is your happiness on the inside. You're also very mysterious and dark. But then this, the green on the outside is your um, very open attitude towards life. Wow, that's very crazy. See, I, I can't even make fun of her for that because I go to an arts college. Paintings like that happen all the time on my campus. Like, if she turned that in for a final grade, she'd probably do pretty well. Okay, Fraser, I have pillows and blankets because your challenge is to make the best fort for us. Move all the chairs back. No! What, what, what? You gotta be organized. We gotta make it, like, flowery and stuff. Painting in pillow forts? When you're sober? It kind of seems to me like when they were doing the research for this video, they just looked up, like top 10 easy date ideas and they found paint each other or pillow fort because those articles were probably written for teenagers and now that i'm thinking about it like their audience is probably young kids preteens, maybe some late teenagers so they probably want to curate the whole date thing for them okay hannah this is the house i made for you you want to check it out <gasps> inside there I love it! This is um, very fun. This is romantic. Oh, oh mother of Jesus. Is that your head? Yeah, that's my head. Holy. He literally just put a blanket over the table and pillows underneath and was like, yep, there's my fort. That's a fort to you? There's only been 15 seconds of this video since you introduced the fort challenge. You just basically threw it all over the place and was like, done. How much time do we have left? We're only two and a half minutes in. Son of a... Bitch, I feel like I've been here for an hour. It's like Fraser's trying really hard right now. He made me a whole fort. Jarvis has never made me a fort. It, it did annoy me when he did that chair thing. He was just throwing him back. Yep, no, no organized! Congrats. I was like, Jarvis would never do this. Jarvis is an organized man. But I give the fort 11 out of 10. I'm sorry, he's being graded on how he moves chairs? And you still gave him an 11 out of 10? You're giving this man 110% for throwing a blanket over a table and calling it a fort? All right. Fraser, I know you have a sweet tooth and you and Alexa are always doing things with Nutella. I don't know what type of thing. Slow down. You cannot just throw that image at us for two frames and then move on. Like, what the hell is that? Why is this man just downright slathered in hazelnut spread. Like, is that the content he makes? Do millionaires who got rich playing video games 
literally not have any other ideas? Or is it just coating yourselves in food and swapping girlfriends? I thought we could decorate cakes. Yeah. For our challenge. Okay, I'm down. I can decorate a good cake. I'll All do right. this one. Nice. Yin and yang. You and me. I used to eat frosting just out of this. No, same. Really? Same. What flavor? This video hits different when you remember that 3.5 million people have watched it. Like, if you could make any video that you knew that 3.5 million people would watch, would it be anything like this? Because for me, I know it wouldn't be. Getting that many views on a piece of media that you produce is a dream. It's a literal dream. But these people are using their platform to just dump this garbage in front of us and call it content. Spider-Man's dead uncle said it best, with great power comes great responsibility. And when it comes to the internet, having a significant platform, it comes with influence and, by extension, power. Like, I don't know what videos I would make if I knew I would be getting millions of views, but they wouldn't be challenge videos where I pretend to swap girlfriends with my brother. What's your favorite thing you're looking forward to about me and your least favorite thing? Probably don't like your burps either. They're quite loud. <sighs> they are loud. I don't know if YouTube's heard you burp, but it's very loud. It's black. It's black. I don't, I don't have any comment. That, that was an impressive burp. You see what this says? It says Alexa. Yeah, and watch this. Isn't, isn't your... Oh, what the... That was actually embarrassing on my half. I shouldn't have acted so crazy, but he called Jarvis plain. I don't set something off in me. I give that one a 10 out of 10. He gave me a chocolate cake. I feel like I've aged 10 years since I started watching this video, <laughs> but we're only four and a half minutes in. This was, I found this on the trending page. Did I mention that? Trending. Now, I know there's probably some of you who are still thinking, Duncan, you're being way too hard on these people for just making inoffensive content. But I'm being harsh on them because their content is lazy and inoffensive. It's cookie cutter. Like, it probably took them two minutes to come up with this concept and then maybe a couple hours to film it. I don't know if people are going to agree with my points or not. Like, I don't know if I'm alone in feeling this way. Actually, I'm going to look at the comments and see if I'm alone. No. No fucking way. Is that real? Oh my god, that's that's the YouTube channel. That's that's the official YouTube channel. It's ve it's verified. It says YouTube. No more comments. Just <laughs> let's just watch the rest of the video. Get it over with. Christ. Okay, let's go to the boy section. I already see what I want. No, no, Hannah, Hannah, Hannah. Hannah, 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 but now that I know this video is like YouTube fucking approved, I feel like my comments don't matter anymore. Like, what am I going to say that's going to change anyone's minds if the ambassador for the platform like commented? Like what? Who am I? Look at my outfit. Mm -hmm. I look amazing. You look like a really nice leprechaun. Yeah, thank you. And you look like my grandma. And I think that's cool, right? Like, that's nice. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. Is it? Come on, kiss Grammy. I, I don't want to. I, I got no comment for that. Just cut away from me. Back to the shit. Um, I was just being dramatic because that's fun. But I think I look like I'm supposed to be a Mary Poppins. Except for the shoes. I rate this 20 out of 10. I wish my professors could learn a thing or two from this girl. Like, she is grading way too liberally. Can you imagine if your teacher hands a paper back to you and you got a 20 out of 10? And then he asks you to swap girlfriends with him? That's a bad joke. I'm excited for this one because finally someone can teach me how to play Fortnite. I yeah, still have right? no idea how to do it. No, I'm skipping this part. I don't care. I cannot watch a segment where they pretend like they don't know how to play Fortnite. 
they all have phase in front of their names because that's their gamer tag. They're part of like a group who plays games. I know they know how to play Fortnite. They all literally own the house they're in because they play that game nonstop. I can't watch them pretend to be bad at a video game. Like, I know myself and I know that I couldn't handle that. So I'm skipping ahead. <laughs> Okay, Fraser, I think you know what's going on for this challenge. Yeah, I'm scared. You're obviously tattooing me, right? Yes, I'm tattooing you! Whoa, fuck. They can't be faking that, right? Like, how do you fake that? Is this real? What are you gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do, Frey Frey? Oh, uh, Frey Frey? Can I'd I, be afraid I if I were you. The cameraman has the gloves on, too. Why would he do that? Why would he do that if this wasn't real? See what Jarvis did next to me? Like, I hope you're better than that. Stop. Huh. That was pretty deep, man. Whoa, yeah, I was thinking that hurt. Like, yeah, I better get the, the best high score at the end of this video, Hannah. Blow oh, and gosh. Steady. That feels like a tattoo. All right, here we go. Last little bit now. I can't believe your name's on me permanently forever. Are they actually getting tattoos? I'm not doing a bit anymore. Is he getting a tattoo? for a video about swapping girlfriends with his brother? When I have kids, they're gonna be like, who's Han? And I've gotta say, um, I'm what do gonna I be say? there, I'm gonna be the aunt. Yeah, of course. There you go, that's good. Yeah, Woo! nice. Yeah, <laughs> that was, Frey Frey. That was, that... I, I, <laughs> I'm genuinely at a loss for words. I, I can't get into the headspace of someone who would get a permanent tattoo over, like, a staged YouTube challenge. Like, when I do these analysis videos on people, I try to empathize with them and see how they would be looking at these situations, but I, I can't get into that mindset. I don't, I don't think I'll ever understand that. That's beyond me. Do we need our videos to be fast-paced, over-edited challenge videos that have permanent tattoos in them in order to get, like, a comment from the YouTube channel? Because if that's how you play the YouTube game, then I don't want to play that. I don't want to be a part of that system. Hannah? You too, then? I just thought it was a fun activity. A fun activity. It was a good time. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good idea. No, I made a decision! I know who my boyfriend is. Meet me in the kitchen. Okay, or else! I've made my decision, and I'm sorry, Fraser, but Jarvis just will always be my ting! He's my real ting! What am I saying? What, what do you mean? What, Alexa? I'm sorry as well, but... Oh, what? I just got her name tattooed, Yo. man! What does that mean? Jarvis, bro, he's taking on ting! And then it just ends. It feels like the final gunshot of a 100-year war. Like, it's just... High energy, and then it's nothing. It's over. It's just quiet. Usually at the end of my videos, I try to wrap things up into a lesson, but... This video bested me. I truly don't know what to say. Okay. YouTube is a huge platform. Videos are being uploaded every second. Like... Whatever you're into on YouTube, there is a community for you doing that. And sometimes you are going to come across communities you don't understand. And while it's fair to critique them and point out the obvious flaws you see, you don't have to understand them. There's no requirement for you to empathize with every creator on YouTube. Like... If you see someone just doing their own weird thing, you don't have to get into their heads. And no one should be asking you to. I can't look at you and be like, yeah, this guy got himself tattooed over a girlfriend swap challenge prank. Like, you get that, right? Don't you understand that? I'm not going to ask you to do that because I don't even get it. This is what I want the lesson of this video to be. You can see something weird and out of your comfort zone and something just beyond your understanding and you can have your time with it, whether it's engaging with it or making fun of it, 
And then you can just let it go. Let it float down the river until it's out of view. And I know for me, I'm going to do my best to never come in contact with this type of video again. Oh my god, there's another one from the other brother's perspective. God, no, I'm not watching that. I'm not... Turn the video off. Thank you all for watching my video to the very end. Your support means the world to me. If you would like to support me further, you can like this video or turn notifications on, but only if you want to. No matter how desperate for views I get, I promise I will never make a video like this, ever. And if I do, you have my permission to hit me in the nose. All right, I'm done. I love you lots. Goodbye.